Hello and welcome to day 11 of the 30 day teach to learn challenge. This is where I learn something new every day, create something sexy, and make a video tutorial on it. Today's topic is video transitions, an intro to built in Premiere Pro transitions, alpha channel transitions, and track mat transitions. These transitions are pretty simple to do, pretty flashy, sometimes a little cheesy, but they could be really interesting depending on what you do with it. They're good tools to have in your toolbox because you never know what your clients want. Some of these transitions might seem a little bit cheesy, but they could be good for social media videos or commercial videos. So without further ado, let's get started with some built-in Premiere transitions. And now let's get into alpha channel transitions. Alpha channels are essentially overlays, like PNG video sequences, where you can see the video from behind. These transitions work when the overlay takes up the entire screen, so then you could put a clip underneath. To be honest, there's not that many alpha channel transitions out there for free. I got these transitions from video blocks. However, there are a lot of alpha channel overlays that are really cool that don't have to be transitions. You can find them free through Google searches or you can even create your own alpha channel. Just check this video here and I'll provide the link in the description. The next thing we're going to talk about is trackman transitions. Now these are pretty cool and you can find a lot of free ones on Rampant Design. And also quite a few free transitions just from a quick Google search. Here's a quick tutorial on how trackman transitions work. Stack two clips over each other and put a track mat transition on top of that. In the middle clip, use an effect called track mat key. Under the drop down for mat, click the layer that your transition is on. And there you go, that's it. That wraps up today's tutorial and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another one. I'm thinking I'll do sound design, but how about you guys give me some suggestions on what to create tutorials on and I'll go ahead and make them.